somehow over the last few years, the fact that factory built homes are not your grandfather's trailer seems to be lost on a lot of people, state and local planning and zoning officials, and even some people within the media. Sure, we want everybody to know about the excellent quality, the higher standards, the improved safety and materials that help make today's factory built homes match up with site built homes. But it's more than that. And the reason is there's a new urgency in the state of Louisiana post Katrina and Rita. When weather forecasters spread the breaking news that serious weather is coming, they are likely to say what they've always said and believed, and that is, get out of your trailer or mobile home and get to a safe structure. That's just not accurate or right. Not anymore. A report from Louisiana State University that reviewed the performance of manufactured housing in Louisiana during Hurricanes Katrina and Rita stated that their results indicate that manufactured homes built to the hurricane standards adopted by HUD in 1994 performed extremely well in the high wind loads generated in these storms. The truth is, a factory-built manufactured or modular home is not a trailer like you've seen FEMA bringing in, nor is it the one you're used to seeing when you were growing up. Today's factory-built homes are engineered and built to withstand high winds to the same levels as a site-built home. You're as safe in a factory-built home as you are in a site-built home. This is a message we have to get through, especially to media, who are inadvertently alarming people who live in factory-built homes. They need to be more accurate in their terminology, using statements such as, if you are in a building not built to withstand high winds, get out now. This is a complicated issue, but the easiest way to think about it is that the terms manufactured home and modular home are not interchangeable with the terms trailer, house trailer, or mobile home. It'd be far better to say factory built homes have stringent building requirements. The standard your home is built to should factor into your decision on whether or not you evacuate. If you're in an old house trailer, a travel trailer, or recreational vehicle, get out. If you're in a properly installed, factory built, manufactured, or modular home, follow the same instructions authorities give for anyone living in a site built home. Modular homes are built to the exact same code that site-built houses are built to. There's no difference in the way they're inspected. They're both built to the same code. When you take a closer look at today's factory-built homes, you'll discover that there are many common misperceptions. To most people, a mobile home or a trailer has a certain look. There is a type of modern factory-built home that may look somewhat similar and that they have a similar roof pitch. When you look at a factory-built home, you should always ask what construction standard is that home built to and is that the proper standard for the location of that home. Uh, it's amazing to see exactly how far the industry has come over the years. Uh, everybody has a different concept or a different mindset of exactly what a manufactured housing is. Take that and wipe it from your mind because these are, uh, it's, it's incredible what the industry has done over the last uh, several years to, uh, to move the industry forward. It's when you step up and design and manufacture from that style of factory built home that it becomes easy to visually tell that today's factory built homes have much higher quality and safety standards as well as a level of aesthetics that clearly differentiate them from your grandfather's mobile home. Factory built homes are built in a controlled environment. They are built and inspected to meet strict federal or state construction standards. This all started when HUD took over regulatory powers of the mobile home industry in 1976. The federal government adopted stringent requirements that led to the creation of manufactured homes. The mobile home as people knew them ceased to exist at this point in time. I think that the quality of construction has really been uh, one of the big pieces that has brought this industry uh, up and forward. Uh, they have certain standards. We just enacted uh, residential building code. The uh, manufactured housing industry was way ahead of us with those. Manufactured homes and modular homes have a lot of similarities in that both are built in a factory to ensure high quality construction. Both are mounted on a chassis delivery system of some sort for transportation from the factory. Both can be placed on a foundation system to meet elevated flood level requirements. And both can be built in single or multiple sections. The only real difference between manufactured and modular homes is the construction standard the factory uses to build the home. 
manufactured homes are built to the federal construction standard adopted by HUD, whereas modular homes are built to the state construction standard adopted by the state of Louisiana. The quality of construction of factory built homes matters. You know, look at the legislature. In November of 2005, in a special session, the legislature passed new statewide residential construction standards. You know, there were different wind loads based on the proximity to the coast. One initiative we as an organization plan to take is to help educate the insurance industry. We believe they need to learn about the new regulations and standards under which factory built homes are constructed and installed. They need to differentiate between trailers and mobile homes built before 1976 when the new federal regulations first begin to change and factory built homes built in the last 10 to 15 years. We believe that we need to get everyone to take a look at Florida. You know, their experience with hurricanes, those pre-1976 trailers were damaged badly. The factory built homes built in the last 10 to 15 years down in Florida did fine. In fact, researchers from a prominent Texas college conducted an interesting test that helps prove that point. Researchers at Texas Tech tested the behavior of a manufactured home and a modular home at near ultimate wind loads. Providing those near ultimate wind loads was a Hercules C-130 aircraft. The propeller wash from the C-130 aircraft was used to apply multiple flow speeds from two perpendicular angles of attack. Peak flows in excess of 100 miles per hour were measured during the testing. The results? In general, it appears that the C-130 flow is sufficient to cause localized failures of structures, like, for example, window cracks and shingle loss. Investigation of progressive collapse will require flow speeds greater than that generated by the C-130 aircraft. The bottom line is manufactured and modular homes stood tall in the face of winds in excess of 100 miles per hour. Forget everything you thought you knew. This is a new face of factory-built homes. The factory built housing industry has evolved tremendously over the last 15 years. We've gone from the, the kind of grandpa's mobile home image to the homes that you see today. Listen, there's been a big shift in this industry over the last 10 or 15 years. Manufacturers would say, this is what we're going to build. Today, they say, you tell us what you want us to build and we'll build it for you. Factory built homes are one answer to the critical post Katrina and Rita housing shortage in South Louisiana. I would go so far as to say it will play a pivotal role in rebuilding our state and some state officials seem to agree. Compare these graphic examples of factory built and site built homes, neighboring structures facing Katrina and Rita's onslaught. We advocate that local governments should recognize the quality of factory built homes and stop excluding them from communities because of the way they're delivered. Artificial barriers and restrictions simply don't make sense, and they haven't for a while. Factory-built homes will be one of the most critical aspects of rebuilding. It's not possible to build site-built homes fast enough to meet the full needs of everyone in South Louisiana who needs a home. This is about arming the people in the affected areas with factual information that helps them make an informed choice when they're trying to find out all of their options and weigh what works best for them and their families. It's important to begin educating everyone about factory built homes. Currently, there's unfair restrictions that are placed on factory built homes that are not placed on site built homes. It is especially critical that the public be accurately informed by clearly differentiating between house trailers and factory built homes in terms of quality, safety, and suitability within Louisiana communities. In conclusion, we invite you to use the Louisiana Manufactured Housing Association as a credible resource when researching and reporting stories dealing with factory built homes. <laughs>